So welcome to this uh, last video now about linear functions. Um, so you have learned that you're going to create a table of values, right? connecting the x's and the y's together. And then if you find three points, at least three points, right? just to check yourself, you will always get a straight line like that. Yeah? So a linear function where the highest power of x is a 1 will always give you a line if you graph it. Okay, we notice that that term in front of the x says something about the steepness of the line. And we notice that that constant there at the end tells you what the y-intercept is going to be. But now these four functions, um, and they look slightly different because it just says y equals 3. Yeah? But they are very important for you to understand, okay? because usually you're going to get functions like this, y equals 3. Now if I would make a table of values, let's say, uh, so I'm going to do that for the first one, y equals 3. Because that's what my teacher told me. I'm going to make a table of values, okay? So I can pick anything for x. Let's say I pick 1. How much is y? 3. If I pick the number 2 for x, how much is y? 3. If I pick the number 1000 for x, how much is y? 3. You see that? y equals 3. Now where does y equal to 3? Now many of you are going to say immediately, yeah, this one. Yeah, y is 3 there, fantastic. But where else is y 3? Y is free here, Y is free there, Y is free here, Y is free there. You see, Y equals 3 is a horizontal line. And it is crucial for you to understand that, that Y equals 3 is a horizontal line at Y equals 3. Okay, moving on to the next one, Y equals minus 1. Now, oh sorry, I, I should label that, I always label your lines, there we go. No, not Y equals X, Y equals 3. Sorry guys, y equals 3. y equals minus 1. Now where is y minus 1? Well, that is over here. That is over here. That is over there. y equals minus 1 is the horizontal line where y is minus 1. You see that? There we go. y equals minus 1. Good. Moving on to the next ones now. x equals 4. Okay. Now, x can only be 4, so what do you think? Where is x 4? Now, x is 4, for instance, over here, x is 4. But where else is x 4? x is 4 here. x is 4 over there. So the line x equals 4 is a vertical line where x is 4. x equals 4. So don't be confused when you get these types of equations. Yeah, x equals 4 is where my x coordinate is 4 all of the time. My y coordinate can change by my x needs to be 4. x equals minus 2. Yeah, once you understand those equations, they become quite easy to graph, a lot easier than your other linear equations. Yeah x equals minus 2, the vertical line where x is minus 2, okay? So these are horizontal lines, yeah, and these are vertical lines, yeah? Important to understand those equations. Now, I'm going to ask you the question, now, what is the equation of the y-x? What is the equation of the y-x? The answer to that, the equation of the y-x is x equals 0. That is the equation of the y-axis. It's the vertical line where my x-coordinate is 0. What is the equation of the x-axis? It's a horizontal line. What is the equation of the x-axis? y equals 0. It's where my y-coordinate is 0. Now that is a little bit confusing, isn't it? The equation of my x-axis, y equals 0. But it's not confusing if you understand why it's y equals 0, because the y coordinate is 0, the y coordinate is 3, the y coordinate is minus 1, a horizontal line, yeah? Vertical lines, the x coordinate is constant, minus 2, so for the y, x, x equals 0 all of the time. Good. Um, Expandingmouse.com, for more free resources, guys, you can ask me questions there as well, I'll help you. We're moving on now to quadratic functions, what, they, yeah, what do they look like if we graph them, yeah? Where x has a power of 2. Cubic functions afterwards, reciprocal functions after that, exponential functions at the end. I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.